Hello and welcome back to Server Assist. So today guys I'm going to be giving you my first real update really on my um, limited and my rare challenge. So I am starting again from scratch after cashing in £12,000 profit on Surrey Fans Football. Starting again to see if it's possible in today's market to obviously make a profit and of course have fun on Surrey. So guys... Stay around for this update. I'm going to be revealing my gallery value for the limited and my rare collection so far. If you like this video, smash the like button and subscribe to the channel. If you're not signed up to Surrey yet, sign up using the link in the description. You will get some free stuff for using that link. Full details are down there in the description, guys. And you can get started for free today on Surrey Fantasy Football. So guys, as we know, I recently sold up, well, about a couple of months ago now, sold up my full gallery on Surrey. Cashed in £12,000 profit. I had been playing so rare since August 2020. And now I'm starting again from scratch with a limited collection and a rare collection. Trying to work my way up to a certain value. On the limited side I'm trying to work from £100 starting budget. Won't be depositing anything else. And I am working my way up to £500 gallery value. Rare. I've put in £300. Again, I won't be depositing anything else. And I'm going to try and work my way, my gallery value up to £1,000. So guys, if you want to watch the previous videos where it tells you what my strategy is and my plan is for this, um, these challenges, do check back on my previous videos on this channel. There is a separate playlist for the limited and the rare challenge. So then guys, let's go ahead and have a look at the current statistics because it is going to get more exciting for this challenge because the Mexican League does return in about a week's time at the time of recording. This means I'll be able to start utilising a lot of my players that I've bought in my gallery. Because I've not actually managed to play any of my rare cards yet in the any tournaments because I've not had any fixtures. I did have some fixtures for the limited gallery uh, but unfortunately it was sort of... Uh, the knockout phases of the Mexican League. So there's pretty difficult fixtures. So no real results there. Fair one reward potentially. Uh, but obviously we only had a few game weeks before the season ended. Because I did buy all these cards when the season was ending in the Argentinian, Mexican and Asia divisions. So hey guys, let's go ahead and get an update on these galleries starting with the limited collection. So here are the current figures then guys. So this is the limited 100 to 500 pound challenge. As I say, I deposited 100 pound. So the, so the date that I started purchasing was the 19th of November 2023. That is the date that I also deposited it as well. Total cards I earn in my collection is 42. And as you can see guys, it's going really, really well at the moment. Not in terms of rewards, but in terms of the gallery value. Yes, I did get one card reward um, with the limited fixtures that I had and it got me 75p but as you can see the gallery value has already shot up guys this is because I was targeting really cheap under the radar players when I did buy these limited cards and of course all the seasons had just ended as well so there's probably at the lowest price and now with these teams potentially returning to action some of these prices started going up again so as you can see guys an absolutely fantastic start so the duration of this challenge so far is 53 days okay guys so that's how long this challenge has been going for so it's going to see how long it does take me in terms of days and months to reach that 500 pound so guys, really good start to this one. We'll see what happens to the prices when the leagues do get underway again. You may see a little bit of drop in terms of the value of the gallery. But of course, I'm hoping to try and win some rewards in terms of Ethereum. And of course, potentially some player cards. So this is going to be interesting to see how long it does take me to get to the £500 mark. And then from there, I'll probably decide what I'm going to do. So let's have a look at the rare collection next. And here we go guys, so this is the rare 300 to £1,000 challenge. Challenge duration on this one is a little bit shorter than the limited 25 days this has been going for. Um, it's deposited on the 16th of November 2023. Total of £300. I've got 11 cards in my collection guys. Obviously the most expensive one was the keeper that cost me £150. Took a bit of research but I did manage to find a Mexican keeper. Looks like he's staying at his club. Fairly solid as well. Um, so that was the most expensive. But the rest of the players I got for around £10 to £20 each which was really really good. And the majority are going to be playing these in the capital 40 mode. 
um, just to grind out those Ethereum thresholds. So this number will hopefully be changing. As I say, I've not had a chance to actually play these rare cards in any tournaments yet because the players, since I bought them, had not had any fixtures. But a lot of the players are from the Mexican division, and like I say, that does kick off shortly. So guys, it's this one is going well as well. Due to the same reasons, really, because I did buy these players when the season had just ended. So they're at 381 value at the minute in terms of the gallery value. Long way to go to the £1,000 mark still. But of course, if I can start grinding out some ETH rewards and potentially even scrape some card wins, this is going to be really, really interesting to see. So we'll see how we get on, guys. See if it is possible in this day and age on so rare to actually make a profit. I know everyone's always complained about it. I know the prices have been going down over the last year or so. I don't think those prices are really sustainable, though, that the peak that we saw. Uh, I think the prices now are looking a bit more realistic. That's why I decided to put some money back in. So I do really enjoy it. And to be honest, guys, even though my gallery value is a lot lower than it used to be before I sold Hub and cashed in that 12 grand profit, I'm still enjoying the game just as much, guys. That is the important thing of so rare. You need to play it for the fun aspect okay so don't be spending more than you can obviously afford to lose it's still a fun game and I, as i say i'm enjoying it as much as i did when i had much larger gallery it's all about the um, getting the notifications on your phone of your players scoring or something like that just a little bit of entertainment guys so you don't need a massive gallery to have that fun guys it's not all about winning the cards that is nice of course but it's just for me it's a good fancy football game to play so guys that was an update on my challenges obviously there'll be separate videos for these two challenges guys um there is a playlist as well separate for the limited challenge and also the rare challenge we'll be looking to do these on probably a weekly basis where i'll be giving you an update on my rewards my teams that sort of thing and my results so do make sure you smash the like button subscribe to the channel thanks for watching as always and i'll see you again on the next video